Simon and Schuster said, Val, this really is about your early life, your mom and dad. Ding, da da. Ending with beating cancer and there's and um, struggles with the. Um, I was the first woman after Betty Davis to take on a huge entity. She took on, I think it was MGM. Was that the studio? Mm -hmm. Or 20th? And, and, and one. And I did so with NBC and uh, so yeah. forth with my uh, series. With my husband at my side making it possible. They said it's, it's, it's more gutsy. We do a lot of um, books with celebrities that are about jewelry and sexual tapes and crazy <laughs> stuff <laughs> and Hollywood. And there we like to use a uh, pun title. But we really think I wrote it. And also, I wrote is kind of funny because I, Claudius, or I, <laughs> see her. she's so pedestrian, so every woman, that I wrote it was kind of funny in its own. So that, it's that. Okay, I'm just going to read you the pro prologue and um, bring some other people into the room that, because you never act alone. You, uh, well, writing is a more solitary thing, but you've got to have the listeners, the readers, and the people as uh, the wonderful, fabulous Alice Walker said, yes. when she sat down to write, she said, I just, I'm, thank you to the people for coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. She meant all those yeah. people that lived in her past and her experience. So that's kind of it. Anyway, those, there's some real people that are still very much alive, but I'll read this quickly. Um, this is the prologue. I first met Rhoda Morgenstern in the spring of 1970 at an old round oak table in the breakfast nook of a small house I was renting uh, in West Hollywood. Through an amazing stroke of luck, CBS had sent me, an unknown actress, an incredible script for the pilot of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Rhoda, free-spirited, funny, and from the Bronx, leaped off the page and grabbed me with her honest and brash humor. This was a woman I liked. No, no. A woman I loved. Mm -hmm. This was a woman I wanted to play. And somehow, I got the chance. For nine incredible years, I was lucky enough to be Rhoda Morgenstern, who was as funny and as insecure, as downright relatable as they come. Through Rhoda, I met the most supportive, wonderful, talented television family. I could, I could have, I'm sorry, oh, oh, talented television family. I met the most wonderful, talented television family I could have possibly imagined. Jim Brooks, Alan Burns, Mary Tyler Moore, Ed Asner, oh, Gavin McLeod, Ted Knight, Cloris Leachman, Betty White, Georgia Engel, Charlotte Brown, Nancy Walker, Harold Gould, Julie Cather, and many more. To this day, strangers greet me, people I don't know at all. Their faces lit up with happiness and recognition, mm -hmm. as if they're meeting an old friend or a relative one they actually like. <laughs> anyway, it goes on. 